Hello and welcome to Thank You Thursday. Today we are talking about William Cuffey, born 1788, died 1870. William Cuffey was a tailor and the leader of the Chartist movement in Victorian London. William Cuffey was born in Chatham in the Medway towns in Kent. His mother was an English woman named Juliana Fox and his father a former slave from St. Kicks who was a cook on a warship. William Cuffey was born with bone deformities within his spine and shins and stood at a small height of 4 foot 11 in adulthood. William became a tailor through apprenticeship. His determination would lead him to be successful in his trade despite the colour of his skin and his disabilities. William would have been 45 when slavery was abolished in Britain and this can give us some good idea of the social climate for black people in Britain in this day and time. He worked for Matthews and Ackworth on Chatham High Street before moving to London around 1819. He married three times and had one child, Juliana Cuffey. William had an interest in working class politics and first took action when he joined a strike organised by the Grand National Trade Union in 1834. In this strike they were demanding 10 hour workdays from April to July and an 8 hour workday for the rest of the year. They also demanded payment of 6 shillings and 5 pence per day. As a result of being involved in this strike, William lost his job and was blacklisted from employment. He decided to join the Chartist movement. The Chartist movement was the first mass movement led by working class people. The main objectives of the Chartist movement were for every man to have a vote, also known as universal manhood suffrage, equal electoral districts, vote by ballot, yearly elected parliaments, payment of members of parliament and to get rid of the property qualifications for membership. William was an active and effective member of the Chartist movement, achieving the setup of the Metropolitan Tailors Charter Association that gained 80 members within his first year. He was also nominated to represent the Chartists in the Metropolitan Delegate Council in 1841 and went on to be the National Executive in 1842. William started to make a name for himself and was starting to be known to the press and the ruling class. He was described as the black man and his party and gained a reputation for being the most militant Chartist leader despite his mild manner. The colour of his skin was targeted and ridiculed in the press and he was even caricatured as a savage. The press campaigns on Cuffey would result in his wife losing her job as a charwoman. In 1839, on November 4th, a violent battle occurred between Chartists and the police in Newport at the Westgate Hotel. 22 Chartists died and 21 were charged with high treason. Three prominent leaders were sentenced to be hung, drawn and quartered. William supported the Newport uprising with a national petition campaign which led to the three Chartist leaders' sentences being lowered from death to transportation to Australia for life. Overall, 60 Chartists would end up being transported to Australia. The more powerful William became, the more he was targeted by the press. A Chartist rally was planned for the 10th of April 1848. It was to take place on Kennington Common to present the House of Commons with a Chartist position and Cuffey was one of the organisers. The aim of the rally was to show force but the other Chartist leaders rejected the idea. Cuffey was disappointed with the timidity of the other leaders. He soon became involved in plans to show the physical force of the Chartist movement. William was one of three London delegates to the Chartist National Convention that met on April in 1848. Unknown to William, police spies were present in the meeting. He was arrested later that year in August for conspiring to levy war against the Queen. Although he may have been aware of this plot, he most likely wasn't in support of it. The information that was gathered on him for the case was gathered by dishonest policemen and he rejected all evidence against him. He also rejected being tried by a middle class jury. Cuffey was sentenced to transportation to Australia at age 60. William reached Tasmania in 1849 and went back to a career of tailoring. He received a pardon in 1856 but decided to keep on fighting for the rights of working people. William would eventually fall into poverty in his 80s in 1869 when he became very ill. He was admitted into a working house and died in July 1870. He was intelligent and an affluent speaker that was always popular with the working class. He saw past race and recognised the commonalities and similarities in working people and fought for blacks and whites alike. In the words of William Cuffey,
that it is the opinion of this meeting that the insurrection in South Wales has been brought on by the injustice and cruelty of the government first by the insulting and scornful manner in which they rejected the great petition of the people from the Charter secondly by the cruel, unjust and vindictive treatment of those suffering incarceration in various dungeons throughout the kingdom we therefore do deeply feel for and sympathise with our brethren in Wales and with Mr Frost in particular and further we pledge ourselves to use every exertion to save them I would like to say thank you to William Cuffey you definitely made the world a better place peace